Hey there, today we're gonna to talk about an Adelaide without a cap toe from CNES. Here we go. Welcome to Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Here we do unboxing videos, we discuss general shoe knowledge, we do worth the price videos as shoe reviews, and we will do shoe battles uh, comparing shoe to shoe so that you can understand the differences. I also speak to experts in the field. Welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. And today we're going to be talking about this very cool pair of shoes. This is the CNES A1. I always say A1N1, but I'm sure it's not actually A1N1. This is the a1AM Adelaide Spy CNES or CNES. Now, um, this is a, um, a tier four Adelaide. Uh, this particular Adelaide happens to be without the cap toe, uh, which is uh, different. Uh, my first Adelaide actually had no cap toe. That was from Alan Edmonds. And um, the, the real difference between these and, and uh, those, I suppose the most major structural difference is the construction. So this pair is actually a Blake or McKay construction, which is um, different. So when you look at the bottom of the shoe, you can see that it is blind stitched. So there's no, uh, there's no um, stitching here. Um, and when you look at the edge here, there's no stitching here. Right. So a, a new person to shoes might think, oh, well, wait a second. That might mean that. Um, the shoes are cemented, but if you look inside the shoe, and I'm going to have to bring the light over here, okay, now inside the shoe here, you can see there's stitching, okay, right along the edge of the shoe, and that is... Uh, a Blake stitch. Now what they do is they actually have a machine that goes into the shoe just like the shoe tree, okay, and does the stitching around the inside. And then obviously somebody spent the time and actually closed the sole again afterwards. So the stitch line is like right along here, okay, and then somebody basically flapped it out and then flapped it back over to, to close it off. So uh, pretty good uh, Pretty good sole work. They got the nice little imprint there, which is good. You can see they've got nails. There's a, there's a shank here. I'm gonna call this a bevel, not a, uh, not a, um, uh, not, not a uh, fiddleback. But overall, these are fairly good looking shoes for the price. Now, normally these shoes cost around 250 bucks, um, but I got them on a killer deal for about 85. Um, which happens from time to time. And so I thought I'd give them a try. I wound up paying almost half of that for shipping because I found them, I think they were in, um, uh, they were in Malaysia uh, at a shoe store. But um, this, is a, uh, this is a really solid shoe. Um, when I first got it, it was super, super high shined. And um, I wound up having to take the, sh the polish off to see that this is actually full grain leather. Um, so you can see the variations in the leather. Um, now it's not, this is not what I would consider very high quality. Um, it is, there's a very thick lining. Um, there's a piece of piping in between, but it's kind of flush with the shoe. Um, but again, consistent for, you know, the $250 mark. Um, there is a, uh, it's smooth on the heel, so there's no suede there. Um, now the sock liner, as, as I should before, um, only comes to about here. So they would consider that like a 40% like sock liner. And, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty par for the course. So, I mean, at the end of the day, the question is, how are these compared to other shoes in this category, right? So now, if you look at a pair of Meermen in this category, the Meermans are all going to be Goodyear welted. Um, if you look at... Uh, you know, some other shoes uh, that are Blake stitched. And, and you should know Blake stitch does not mean low quality. 
Um, there are a number of Ferragamos and Santoni shoes that are Blake stitched. Those are very high quality. So Blake stitch is nothing more than a construction method. It can be remade. Um, so you can resold the shoes. Many cobblers have the ability to do it. Not all, but many do. And my experience uh, from, uh, you know, discussions on forums and so forth is that they don't necessarily even charge more to do it. Um, so it's a, uh, it's a very capable way of making shoes. Um, now this CNES is um, also out of Vietnam. The, uh, this maker, this is a Patrio, and this maker is out of the Philippines. And um, he made this shoe for me. I asked him to do it in Harwin Hatch Grain, which is a, a very high-end material. But um, this, he, he Goodyear welted, and he blind stitched the sole as well. Um, now this was, um, you know, a little bit more expensive. I think uh, all said and done was 370. So, um, but it has a, a, a supreme premium for that. And um, this was also, I mean, he, he did a lot of this for me. So it was a, a, a really distinct uh, um, way of doing it. But your standard Mirman's that are 200 bucks are a little bit nicer than this, but not remarkably so. I would consider this um, to be a, a, a really close second. So um, when it comes to finishing, there's uh, very little in the way of finishing. They basically ironed the um, edge here. Um, this has a bevel and then it's straight here. Uh, the uh, heel pads here, the, the heel stack is very thick, um, but a very functional shoe and a very usable shoe. For 85 bucks, I couldn't be happier. <laughs> I wanna be clear about that for, um, you know, if I had paid 250 for them, um, I, candidly, I would rather get a pair of Allen Edmonds Cornwallis on sale uh, for the price. I feel like it's a 20, 30 times better shoe. Uh, than this, but it, this is a good, solid, functional shoe um, and, and works just fine. So, um, so again, let's talk a little bit more about the comparison of this shoe compared to others in the grade, right? So these are both tier four shoes. Um, from a design perspective, they do a single seam, they have it closed off here. That's pretty standard in, in all um, shoemakers. Some have a little bit more stitching here, but I think they did a pretty nice job. The construction is good. Um, the lack of fudging and, and all those other details is, is, a, is an economical choice. Uh, the fact that they blind stitched the sole is very nice. That's not common. And, um, you know, as I look at the top stitching, the density, it's okay. It's not super. Um, you know, the, the biggest thing here is really the quality of the leather. And while this is full grain leather, I can't say that it's super nice. And candidly, I wouldn't be surprised if this was just a, um, a color variant within, um, a, a top grain line. It just, uh, it, it does not have that, uh, it just does not feel as, as nice a leather as, as I see on most of my shoes. Now, um, you know, this, the, uh, the stitch density on here, the, the care of detail, the work that they put into to building this was obviously, um, you know, was, was tremendous. Um, I really feel like this is a much, much higher quality shoe for being in the same tier. Um, now this is at the very top of tier four. This is $370 and this one is, you know, 250. So, um, big difference there. Uh, but again, comparing this to like a $210 pair of Mirman, um, I still would take the Mirman. So, uh, now as we move up the spectrum, let's look at a tier three shoe. All right, so here we have a tier three shoe. This is a TLB Mallorca. This shoe costs $420. So again, 250 versus 420. This shoe costs roughly twice as much. And what do you have? You have a veg tan, super soft lining compared to a um, chrome tan lining. Okay. You have much more impressive stitch density. If you look at them, you can see the difference just looking at eyeballing it. All right. Uh, the broguing is, uh, is comparable, although it's not 100% clean. You can see that there are errors there, there are errors in there. Maybe it's paint. It looks like it's just not clean cuts. You know, there's a hole that's 
filled in. So um, some pieces there. You don't get any of that on this TLB Mallorca. Um, the sole on this is, is tremendous. It's got a fiddle back waist, very narrow waist, beautiful blind stitch sole. The edging is there, the fudging, which you can see pretty well on these shoes. It's also very, very nice. So um, much higher quality, you know, consistent all the way across the board. Um, just a, uh, a overall, a much better shoe. So now we look up at, uh, so that's against tier three. Now we look at tier two. Tier two, this is a, a George Cleverly Adam. Uh, now this has the same, um, it's the same medallion. Okay. Is this one? It's, it's a little bit smaller, which is more toward the size of the way it curves. Um, stitch density on this is still better. The sole on this, the fiddle back, much better. This has the nails on the top, narrower heel. Let's see, again, this is pretty good sole for the price but it really is on a different pattern, different stratosphere. Now this is your um, stitching that they do on some of the higher end shoes. Crockett and Jones does this as well as Cleverly, as well as Alfred Sargent. So that, that is a, uh, uh, an opportunity there. And then lastly, we move to a tier one. This is where you'll see, and really you see this on all of them, but really the last on this, is just much more refined. You have a better sweep. If you look at the shoe like this, it's just a sweep. It's very uh, asymmetrical. You can see how high the tree comes there versus there, okay? And um, this is just, I mean, it's a better fitting. Uh, the leather quality on this is tremendous comparatively. Um, and uh, the stitch density is like on another plane. Okay. So um, again, I'm just gonna try to get my light to not move, but if you look at these, you can see the difference. Okay, the broguing is also tighter on this, but that's, again, that's a design choice. That's not necessarily a mark of quality. Um, and then you look at the finishing. This has the ridges on the sole. The fiddle back is much more pronounced. Um, heel is a lot smaller. So again, those are some of the differences that you pay for in the higher end shoes. So, so here we have our tier one. Okay, so those are your two tier ones. This is your tier two. Your tier three. Or excuse, excuse me. Tier four, tier three, tier two. Tier one, and I kid you not, this shoe tree costs more than this shoe, which is uh, <laughs> sad, but uh, but is the reality of it. So, uh, but again, when budgets are tight, this shoe covers your feet, it protects them from the elements, and it does the job. The line on it is not nearly as good, okay? Again, it's perfectly symmetrical but it, it gets the job done and is available for a much more attractive price for a less attractive shoe.